from one of your favorite writers of all time. We're going to The Observer for their thoughts. I thought you said you are going to hear from one of my favorite writers. And you're, you're, you're now going to say, now we're going to hear from the rumor-mongering <laughs> bullshit artist uh, from the dirt rag that makes shit up. Okay, now you pr may proceed. Okay, so we're going to hear from that guy. And he would say, Benoit and Jericho won the tag titles from Austin and Triple H in 13 minutes, 55 seconds. Great match by any standard of a great match. Great moves, great build during the match. And even before the match, as they tried to sell it as the biggest match of Benoit and Jericho's career, this match was a real slap in the face to anyone who thinks winning and losing doesn't matter or shouldn't matter to the fans. The reason this got over was not because of any silly gimmick, but because they sold the idea that the most important thing was the win and the quest for the win was real. Finally, Jericho made the hot tag. He blocked the Thez press and got the walls on. Triple H in for the save and the run in his thigh muscle tore. Still, he limped outside the ring to do the blocked pedigree into the wall spot on the American table. Benoit did a diving headbutt on Austin. Austin came back with a stunner on Benoit, but Jericho pulled the ref out of the ring at the last second. Jericho got in and went for the lion salt, but Austin got his knees up. Jericho blocked the stunner and hit the lion salt on Austin. Triple H got the sledgehammer and went to break up the pin, but Jericho moved and Triple H hit Austin and Jericho scored the pin. Show ended with Benoit and Jericho celebrating. It's such a match with such a horrible ending here for Triple H. You were there that night, Bruce. What was it like when you see Triple H go down and the severity of that injury? Well, it was absolutely terrible because, again, you're watching it and I don't think that anybody in the moment had any idea how bad Triple H really was. And it's it's not just, oh, he tore his thigh. No, folks. It ripped from the bone and curled up. He should not have been able to even walk. Really, couldn't walk. But but did and you know a testament to pulling through and uh, finishing the match. I don't know that you know many people a would have been able to do that. That was one of those like holy shit moments. Once you realized even more so after the fact, he couldn't put any weight on his leg at all mm. and still went in, mm. still went in, finished the match, did his spots, limping badly and not really being able to do much of anything at all. So it was, yeah, it was an incredible match and it was a, a turning point in so many different ways because it was a point that we had lost Triple H in there and realizing, oh wow, everything that we had planned for the summer going forward that included Triple H on that side now goes away. And now you go to plan really B or C because we were already on plan B and it's like okay um, this is going to be interesting to say the least. Yeah that was uh, you know like you said not only the injury the impact the severity of that but as you mentioned all the creative plans everything that you had he's a big time you know member of the, of, of the squad here if you will and he goes down massive injury and the show must go on and as we mentioned at the top of the show you know rocks and movies and Austin's a heel so it's kind of like where do we go from here so uh, again big time impact all the way around for not only him, but also uh, for the WWE and creative direction. So we move.